In this video, we will talk about Gay-Lussac's law. Gay-Lussac's law is a pressure to temperature relationship for a gas. Gay-Lussac's law states that for a fixed amount of gas at a constant volume, the pressure of a gas is proportional to its Kelvin temperature. Now remember when we talked about Charles's law, everything was in Kelvins. Same thing with Gay-Lussac's law. Everything must be in Kelvins. Matter of fact, in a gas law problem, just change every temperature you get into Kelvins. So, Gay-Lussac's law states that if one quantity increases, the other must increase as well. This is a direct proportionality. Now, another way to say that is, if I take pressure over temperature, that means it's a constant, or P over T is equal to a K. That looks a lot like Charles's law, V over T equals some constant. Now, all of these constants that we've been talking about, you might start to wonder, are they the same constant? And the answer is no. Each gas law has its own specific constant, but I don't really care about that constant because what I care about is changing conditions. So if I change conditions, I get an equation much like our Boyle's law, much like our Charles's law. P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. Now this works because when we increase the temperature, the kinetic energy of our particles increases. That means when they hit the container, they hit the container with a higher force. So the higher the force over the same area, that means that the pressure must increase. So let's do an example problem. A gas at 12 atmospheres of pressure is at 25 degrees C. What will the temperature be if the gas pressure is reduced to one atmosphere? So again, just like all of our other problems, we want to give each quantity that we know a name and the quantity that we're looking for we want to make sure that we give that a name as well so we have a gas at 12 atmospheres of pressure so 12 atmospheres that's a pressure and I'm gonna say that my, is my pressure one because it's asking what will the temperature be if the pressure is reduced therefore pressure one is equal to 12 atmospheres and temperature one is equal to 25 degrees C. Now remember that's got to be in Kelvin so we're going to add the 273 to give us 298 Kelvin. Pressure 2 is what I don't know so I'm going to put a question mark there. Uh, no I do know pressure 2. I know pressure 2 should be one atmosphere. So one atmosphere. What I don't know is I don't know temperature 2. That's the question. So let's take a look at how we solve this problem. So I have all my variables listed out. I'm going to write my equation. P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. I'm looking for T2. So now this can be a little bit hairy to rearrange. Um, another way that you can write these is if I were to multiply both sides uh, by T2 and T1. You see the T2 cancels and T1 cancels. So oftentimes you will see these laws written like this. T2 P1 is equal to P2 T1. Uh, it's just a matter of how you want to write the equation. But this does help us because I want to isolate T2. So if I divide by P1, I can see P1 cancels. I get T2 is equal to P2, T1, over P1. So, T2 is equal to P2, which is one atmosphere, times 298 Kelvin, divided by 12 atmospheres. My atmospheres cancels, I'm left with a Kelvin unit, and my answer is 25 Kelvin. That's quite a pressure drop and quite a temperature drop. Now, does this make sense? Well, the lower the pressure, the lower the temperature, because they're a direct proportionality. And also think about this in terms of uh, project, products you might have used around the house. So, for example, if you're spraying cleaner from an aerosol can and you spray it, sometimes you might notice that the can gets cold. Well, the reason for that is this changing of a pressure 
from something high pressure to something low pressure, which cools down the can. Um, so this was gay loose x law. Now, I suggest you do as many problems on gay loose x law as you can, and remember to rearrange your equations prior to plugging the numbers in. That rearrangement is going to save you time and it's going to allow you to error check. So, move on to the next video in which we're going to talk about probably the most important version of Boyle's Law, Charles's Law, and Gay-Lussac's Law, what we call the Combined Gas Law.